Hello Aquarius, this is your reading for the 4th to the 5th. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe, guys. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius today. Eight of Pentacles. Working, trying to get that money stacked, I feel. Um, a lot of you guys have your nose buried in your work. Okay? Just working on yourself, focusing on yourself, focusing on your abundance here. Pull this one out. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles, all about that money. Um, investing, building on new opportunities that have come your way, and um, just kind of waiting to see, you know, the result of the seeds that you have planted. Okay? Knight of Cups here, wanting to make an offer, um, maybe to date someone, maybe to start over even, okay? Excited about some things, I feel, and um, moving towards things that really, like, you know, make your heart feel light, that you're happy about, being consistent, I feel, with that. Oh, okay. A lot of cards wanted to flip over there. A lot to say. Hmm. I feel like somebody's trying to meet you halfway. They're kind of leery about something here, though. But they're definitely interested in you. Fire energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, but I think there's there's somebody that you're interested in that you are really excited about. There's something that you're really excited to say to this person. And I think this person is interested in you too. Um, but, you know, I, I think they're more so waiting on you guys to present something that they want to accept is what I'm getting here, okay? The magician, yeah. I think you're confident that you can, that you can build something um, with, with this individual. Okay, I feel like there's already like you know, you've already been working on yourself. You guys have already you know started to build something before. Maybe it kind of fell off a little bit, but I think that now you guys are um, you're confident that you've invested enough time and energy with this person that this can this can be something that can make you happy, you know. Or enhance your happiness let me put it that way but um, you guys are really manifesting um, something good here the two of cups yeah a relationship is what you are um, building upon investing your time and energy in you know just trying to make it work trying to uh, do your part is what I'm getting here okay Trying to do your part <laughs> to get that Ten of Cups. I love it. I love it. I love it. I feel like, you know, for some of you, this is actually, um, this is actually a relationship that you guys have just started. Um, maybe, you know, it is fairly new in the, in the first few months or so. And um, doesn't have to be though, but I feel like it's it, it has not gotten to the point where you know both of you are completely locked in, but you're building on it. You're building on it. You you see happiness with um, someone else and and willing to take that leap of faith with them. Maybe an Aries individual, um, Piscean, uh, Cancer, Gemini, Taurus. I see here. Okay, maybe Virgo. But, you know, you guys see happiness with this person. You see a true potential here. Hmm. The Five of Wands. Maybe you guys have had some arguments before. Maybe they were very petty, like, you know, you know, just having your different points of view. Not seeing eye to eye at times. But um, I feel like, you know, you feel as though this is something that could definitely be mended because the love that you guys share in the heart of the reading is stronger than anything else. Okay. That this person is a person that you can, you know, spend the rest of your life with even had the ultimate emotional fulfillment committed relationship here very committed and loving I feel ace of cups mm -hmm. this is a coming back together if you guys are separated here and this is something that you know I feel like 
um, this is God given. This is God given. This is this is you, you know, building upon yourself, loving yourself, um, having this very compassionate energy um, that you extend towards others as well. And so if you've had some conflict with this person, I feel like at this point, you guys feel like you can work this out. You know, you can iron out, you know, the little things here. OK, because nothing is perfect. Everything needs to, you know, have work put into it. But I feel like you guys are definitely starting over, um, turning over a new leaf, doing what you feel like is necessary to, you know, make this thing work and have a go at it. Now we have the emperor here. Yeah. I think, you know, a lot of you are choosing to pick your battles is what I'm getting here. Um, if it's if it's minor, you know, talking it out and working through those things, realizing that, you know, <laughs> everything does not have to be fought about. Negotiating here is what I'm getting from you guys. Um, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. A lot of you are standing in your power, um, feeling comfortable and confident that, um, you know, you can work this out. That if you need to be the bigger person sometimes or, you know, need to admit that, you know, your fault in something, I feel like you guys are doing that here. Okay. So again, we have Aries, Leo, Pisces, and energy, um, maybe Cancer, Scorpio as well, Gemini, Virgo energy, Taurus. Okay. So that's what I have for you. And I will be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.